invite you to welcome with me Chancellor Zimfer, President Phillip, Mayor Jennings, and each other, all of you honored guests, old friends and new. It's my pleasure as the chair of this year's ISCEP 2012 conference and the director of the Center for Technology and Government, your host organization, to welcome you to Albany, New York and the 6th International Conference on Electronic Governance Theory and Practice, or as you all know by this point, ISCOV 2012. I'm very proud to have you all here in my hometown, Albany, New York, and to have you spend the week with us, working together on the critical issues and important opportunities facing all of us as we work to create open innovation in the interest of global change. The ISCOP series of conferences, as many of you know, because we've been together from Macau to Bogota to Cairo to Tallinn, also in Beijing, you know that this conference has succeeded in creating a unique and an important venue for global exchange of interests and ideas. Historically, ISCOP has brought together hundreds of academics and practitioners with colleagues from civil society and the private sector. We've engaged students from the developing world, from the developed world, authors, practitioners, from all over the globe, both north and south, on these critical conversations. And this year, ISCOP 2012 does no less. Together, we are almost 400. We represent 64 countries who have come together to the capital of the state of New York to continue the conversation and to move the dialogue forward. So um, for my own personal interest, having been in Macau and each ISCO since then, I'm very, very thrilled to have you here with us in Albany. And we look forward to having a wonderful, wonderful week with you, enjoying Albany um, as well. But before we begin this morning's program and introduce our podium party and welcome them to make remarks as well, I'd like to take a minute to thank a few key individuals who made it possible for us all to come here together this week. First, the National Advisory Committee, uh, who are named in our program book, and I'd love you to take a look at that, and if you see them with the Advisory Committee on their name tag, uh, take a moment and talk with them about the conference. Um, the International Steering Committee as well, who has for a long time advised the, e the ISCOV series, uh, along with the U.S. National Advisory Committee, who's provided us so much insight uh, into how we can best provide a compelling program for you this week. Second, the organizing committee themselves, led by my dear colleague and the most hardworking woman on earth, Jana Hrdnova. Jana, where are you? She's working. <laughs> Why did I know that? So, um, Yana, um, as many of you know from the timestamps on her emails, have, has worked tirelessly to make this conference all that we believe it will be. Um, she has um, worked together with many others, um, including um, Megan Cook, who is the chair of our sponsorship committee, who you will hear from very shortly. Megan has worked very, very hard, as, well, as many of you know, because she has um, also been in your emails uh, around the clock um, to bring everyone together. And of course, the program co-chairs, Natalie Helbig, Ramon Gil Garcia, and Boyega Ojo, who have worked to put together an academic program that is second to none um, in our field, uh, among the most selective of the academic conferences uh, in the field of study of electronic governance theory and practice. And finally, you'll hear as well, um, and we have uh, much gratitude to pay to Dr. Tomas Janowski, Director of the E-Governance Center at the United Nations University Institute for Software Technology, who, as you all know, is the creator of this wonderful conference, along with his colleagues at UNOWIST, and of course, many of you as well. So with that, I would like first to introduce um, Na Chancellor Nancy Zimper, who is the, I have to put my glasses on. I didn't have to do this in Macau. It was only six years ago, but uh, say la vie. <laughs> Nancy Zimfer became the 12th Chancellor of the State University of New York by unanimous vote of the SUNY Board of Trustees 
in 2009. With more than 465 students, SUNY is the, the nation's largest comprehensive system of higher education. We are very blessed here in the state of New York to have Nancy with her experience as a nationally recognized leader, as an effective, really a, a groundbreaking agent of change in education. She began her work at SUNY with a statewide tour of SUNY's 64 campuses, no small feat. Um, if I remember correctly, there was a lot of school flying. Um, and became what she used to in create the first phase of a system-wide strategic planning process called the power of SUNY. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Chancellor Nancy Zimper to welcome you all here to ISCUB 2012. 